Hello, today I would like to present you an excerpt from the program of people born on July 5 of the leap years or July 6 of the common years. Uh, this is a very brief overview of this personality. All the information was taken from the catalog of human population. Let's go! The, uh, there is only one life goal for this person – power, absolute power. That is, naturally she understands very well that the most power she could get is the power of the human minds. Uh, this is true because once you rule the minds, you rule people's destiny. And the specific impact of the highest level is what the reviewed person is looking to get. She is focused on achieving high social levels and it is not surprising that in her habitat, whoever she is, uh, this lady will always try to take the position of the director, leader or commander. In short, if she is not the queen, she will be at least someone like the first wife of Pedishach. He seems to be the ruler, but in fact the real power in the other hands, in the hands of his wife. Uh, the idea of being able to decide the fates of large number of people to change them attracts this woman like the magnet. Uh, she is not just a dreamer. For the sake of her dream brought to the level of at most goal, this person will try to accumulate various resources, including personal qualities, strong intellect, a highest level of erudition, uh, etiquette, reputation. And of course she will strive to have powerful friends and extensive financial support. Surely this toolkit uh, will largely depend on culture, traditions of the country this lady lives in, and vary significantly in the range of social values. For example, it is known that in certain places information, knowledge, intellectual capacities are considered to be especially, especially valuable assets and collectibles. This lady will work hard to attain the status of smart, educated, intelligent and well-informed. Or in some parts of the world, other things are considered the most sought after. For example, large herds of cows, uh, flocks of goats and sheep. And the owner of those is considered to be the most respectful. Oh well, uh, she will then begin collecting large and medium-sized cattle. Uh, if in the country where she lives, uh, moral, virtue, religious belief of her example, a certain uh, contribution to the public life are valued higher than the gold, uh, then uh, why wouldn't she attempt uh, to obtain all the above and a lot of it? Or if uh, in the society she lives in, worship uh, the golden calf, where money you have, irrespective of other qualities, such as personal qualities. Automatic, automatically raise your value, rating and social status, bring you to the top of the social ladder, then she will uh, dedicate all her efforts to obtaining substantial financial base. However, in any culture, this lady will strive to become a noticeable, reputable, significant figure, uh, will try to embody the best qualities. She will try to become uh, a lady that, in other mind, undoubtedly deserves the highest position in the society, deserves to be a ruler, a holder of the highest form of managerial power. Although this person might become upset uh, when suddenly start thinking of herself uh, as a loser, such depression passes quite fast. Melancholy goes away and this lady is again wide awake. Mightly uh, and is eager to steer the boat, so to speak, that is to control large social spaces, manage people's fates. She turns back into a person whose opinion is valued and who really uh, could become an authority for her subordinates and, of course, change their destinies. Uh, by the way, uh, even though she is a natural leader, she absolutely doesn't want to become an icon or an idol for people. She doesn't want to be a mentor or a person who knows it all and constantly preaches others how to live. Uh, more importantly, she wants to be alone for herself. Uh, and everybody else as well. Uh, this lady has a self-sentiment uh, of a great and mighty individual. She thinks uh, that she must be a model of everything uh, about her must be a model of quality. Uh, she is ready to bend over backwards to achieve the goal. Pride and arrogance are normal and natural in her particular case. And if her health allows her, and it usually does, to be arrogant, why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't bridle up? Why not declare total permissiveness for herself, display that uh, she is without a care in the world? Uh, 
Uh, in this sense, she seems to be quite a feminine spaceman, proud, arrogant and reckless, especially in the young age. Uh, her most favor uh, favorite self-representation is to appear as a lady everything is available to, and that is, uh, no one can say to otherwise. Uh, she is a queen and a goddess for herself. Self-willing, uh, willing, uh, living large, uh, throwing her money about, uh, making handsome gestures are customary for her. However, even in this, uh, uh, even this is not enough. Uh, she is certain that everybody should know about how strong, smart, and remarkable she is. To achieve this, she could use public appearances, public promises, instant self-advertising. Mm. In short, she, uh, metaphorically speaking, takes the megaphone and loudly tells everybody how exceptional and remarkable she is, so that everybody would know uh, what a fantastic lady she is. How else? She thinks. Uh, she is exceptional and everything relating to her is, so, is also exceptional, uh, the best in the universe. For example, the place where she uh, was born, her native land, people living there, let alone her parents and other relatives, there are, of course, the most wonderful, beautiful people, and all other people inhabiting the earth uh, don't stand a chance. From her point of view, the country where she lives, uh, even it is considered the, world, uh, the worst developed in the world, uh, is the most trouble-free, powerful and prosperous country in the world. Um, very close to paradise. Uh, as to her family, it is the most friendly and excellent in all respects. Uh, it is necessary to say that this lady not only dreams of appearing a magnificent person, but does, uh, doesn't hesitate to stand it uh, in practice. She is sure uh, that one has to live brightly, mighty and noticeably. Uh, to live large, so to speak and to achieve the highest goals and tasks. Uh, by the way, uh, in this sense, uh, she is not an agist. She wishes to, uh, to the company she works for uh, would also be strong, successful uh, and prospering. Uh, and she struggles for other people to become mighty, healthy and powerful. She thinks that more worthy opponents she has, the more interesting her life would be, the higher her personal fighter qualities would be. Opponents don't imitate a strong person. Uh, one of the essential eternal motives of this person is to keep the leadership, not only in sports, but also in business, politics and in any other activity uh, this woman strives to be the first. Uh, and she is happy to uh, and she's happy when uh, she contests like who is stronger, who is the best, who is more powerful. A cue considering them a type of exercise equipment that makes her even stronger and gives her a greater competitive advantage. For um. complete information about this or any other subtype structure, please visit www.catalogofhumanpopulation.org. Goodbye.